Well, hello again. Welcome to the VK6CS uh, Amateur Radio Channel. Um, I was going to do a video showing the attenuation um, uh, through the tuner connecting the drive radio, the FT450, to the valve linear amplifier. So, you know, with and without the, uh, the uh, tuner um, in circuit. Uh, and I just got distracted. Um, I noticed there was a bit of a discrepancy between the, uh, uh, the signal strength received or indicated on different bands on the FT450. Now, having turned all the processing off, that discrepancy's practically disappeared. But um, I thought while it's there, what I actually did was uh, connected the um, 857 up just to see if that showed the same discrepancy. And um, I thought, well, while the two radios are together, um, I would just do a sort of quick receiver comparison between the two with regard um, noise and indicated signal strength. Uh, I was quite surprised actually that um, uh, probably not so much with the um, how they sound but uh, with the indicated signal strength. So I thought it might be worth uh, just putting a, putting a video up so that um, I don't know whether it's a general thing or whether my FT450 is um, uh, parametrically unoptimized. Um, I never took it out of the box when I bought it some years ago and put it on the test set, uh, test set just to see how it performed. Um, so whether it's always been like this I don't know. I might actually look at the um, service manual for the FT450 and um, uh, just see if it needs uh, some adjustment. But uh, anyway I'll show you uh, I'll show you what I mean about a discrepancy. Uh, with the indicated signal strength, and you could just have a listen to how the how the uh, the signal sounds on the two receivers. Uh, right. Okay. So oh, start with start with the <coughs> FG eight five seven. Now, as you can see. Signal strength indicated is S6. I'm actually using a radio test set to generate a signal at a constant level on all bands. Um, as I go through the bands, the signal level from the signals, uh, the radio test set doesn't change. That level is neg 95 dBm. Right, so how does it sound? There we go, that doesn't sound bad. A little bit of a little bit of smooth noise there. I chose neg 95 dBm just to get the right sort of amount of noise in the, in the background. <clears throat> so that's how the 857 sounds on 3605 on, uh, on 80 meters indicating S6. Okay, so let's uh, switch that over to Go down. Now you'll see on the FT450 that very same signal strength is indicated as S3. A huge discrepancy between the two radios with regard to indicated signal strength. Um, oh, just uh, before I continue, um, both radios have IPO and attenuator off, both radios have the noise blanker on. Uh, both radios have the AGC on um, and the rest of the digital processing is off on the 857 and on the FT450. I can't seem to turn this width thing off but I've opened it out as far as it will go which is the closest I can get to it being off. So they're set up as similarly as possible for this uh, test. Right, or demonstration. And that's how the FT450 receiver sounds. Now listening to that, I wouldn't pick the difference. If I had my eyes closed, um, those signals sound the same to me, but there's a big, uh, big difference in the indicated signal strength. So it might just be a case of going into the, um, uh, the setup menu on the FT450 and just adjusting it, assuming that the FT450 is the one that's out, of course. I do have uh, two 857s, so I could compare the, 85, the other 857 <coughs> just to make sure. But that sounds quite nice to me. So 
So it's indicating, the FT857 is indicating more signal, S6, but it sounds slightly noisier. <clears throat> Uh, both radios, it would have been a better test to have both radios, you know, when I switch the signal into uh, the particular radio, it also switches one common speaker between the two, um, <clears throat> but I haven't got that. Both radios are on their internal speakers, but um, I think it should give you a rough idea anyway. So, as long as the camera mic is picking that up. Bit of noise there. On the 857. but not on the FT450. FT450 sounds quite nice. Uh, with half the indicated signal strength. Remember, S3. And what was it on that one? S6. S6. Okay, so let's see what it's like on uh, 40 meters. S6 indicated again. Let's make sure there's not. Yeah, it's okay. Again, there's a bit of noise there. A little bit of noise. On the FT450. There's a little bit of noise there, but um, might be the speaker maybe, the frequency response of the speaker, but it doesn't sound, it's not as noticeable. Even though we're getting less than S3 indicated on the, uh, on the FT450. We have S6 indicated on the 857. So it's indicating a better signal, but it sounds slightly worse. It's interesting, isn't it? Okay. So, let's try uh, 20 metres. That's showing slightly more signal strength, showing S7. As you can hear, a little bit of noise there. On the FT450, there's what sounds like less noise. It's a far more pleasant uh, sound. Showing S3. Now I've never been overly happy with the sound from the FT450 receiver. I've always thought it sounded a little bit tuby, you know, it's a bit cardboard tuby and it sounded a little bit noisy to me, but you know, listening to this, comparing it directly with an FT857 with them both connected to a radio test set, I'd I'd have to say that the, the FT450 sounds better. It does. With all the processing off, maybe it was the way I've had the processing uh, on the FT450 set up in the past, but I've, I've always preferred the sound from the 857 to the sound of the FT450. But that sounds nice, there's nothing wrong with that. So from band to band, there's not very much discrepancy in the signal indicated. This goes from 3 on 20 metres and 3 on 80 metres down to just under 3, I think it was, on, uh, on 40 metres. Whereas the 857 goes from S7 on 20 and S7 on um, 80 to S6 on, on 40.
but it just sounds slightly noisier. So there's a huge discrepancy with the signal strength indicated between the two radios. The actual sound between the two radios, the one that's indicating the lower signal, sounds better. So um, if, I've, uh, if I've worked on HF in the past and uh, I've given you a signal that you think is a little bit down on what it should have been, add a couple of S points, or <laughs> add a few S points, I mean, the difference between S3 and S7. Um, so, you know, if I've said you're an S3, make that an S7. Um, and uh, I'll have a look at... Uh, um, actually, before you do that, I'll try and find out which one of these radios is the more accurate. So I don't think either service manual uh, for these radios um, tells me what um, um, signal strength should be indicated for X amount of dBm signal received, if you see what I mean. Um, I'll have a look at the manuals and see if I can find that out, because if I can, it may be maybe this one's out and not this one. But um, NIG 95, S3, I don't know, yeah. Um, I'll just have to uh, have a look at the book and see what it's uh, what it's supposed to be. But you know, an ignite fire that just still doesn't sound bad. I mean, I've had um, I've had very good um, uh, um, QSOs with this very radio you know, in a four-wheel drive with a uh, with a whip antenna on the ball bar. And I've spoken to Europe and I've spoken to Japan, and I've always been very happy with it. But doing the direct comparison. With all, the, with all the processing off, I'd say the 450 actually sounds better. I've always been under the impression it's the other way around. It's probably my fumbling with the uh, setting up the processing on the 450, but I would say this 450 receiver definitely sounds better. with the audio response of the audio amp of course and the actual speaker speaker's probably bigger in the 450 anyway I uh, hope you found that. Uh, hope you found that interesting. As I say, that was just an aside. I just thought I'd try that. And the interesting thing is that the uh, the discrepancy on the FT450 doesn't appear to be there. Once I've turned all the processing off and I'm just squirting a signal straight in and comparing the two radios, there's not a huge difference in signal strength from band to band. With the processing on, uh, there was. Uh, it was enough for me to um, uh, think about doing this test. So, uh, <clears throat> there we go. As always, hope you found that uh, interesting, and um, I'll catch you next time.